President Trump also waging a new Twitter war with one of the most powerful Republicans in the Senate, blaming Tennessee's Bob Corker for negotiating the Iran nuclear deal and saying Corker doesn't have the guts to run for re-election. Corker firing back, calling the White House an adult daycare center. ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega with the tensions inside the president's own party. In President Trump's line of fire tonight, one of his own. After Republican Senator Bob Corker last week made this jab. Secretary Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and uh, Chief of Staff Kelly uh, are those people that help separate our country from chaos. Today, the president fired back in a no-holds-barred Twitter punch saying, Senator Bob Corker begged me to endorse him for re-election in Tennessee. I said no, and he dropped out, said he could not win without my endorsement. Hence, I would fully expect Corker to be a negative voice and stand in the way of our great agenda, didn't have the guts to run. Corker's office disputes the president's claims, saying the president is the one who offered the endorsement. And the senior senator who recently announced he will not seek re-election responded by going where most Republicans refuse to go, tweeting, it's a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. Someone obviously missed their shift this morning. It's not just members of the president's own party. He's also taking aim at a member of his own cabinet. In the wake of a report that Rex Tillerson called his boss a moron and threatened to resign, President Trump said of his secretary of state, We disagree on a couple of things. Sometimes I'd like him to be a little bit tougher. But other than that, we have a very good relationship. At the center of their disagreement, whether to negotiate with North Korea and the president issuing another vague threat about the one thing that will work with Pyongyang. Well, you'll figure that out pretty soon. And he's still refusing to clarify that ominous message he delivered while surrounded by his top military brass. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Want to clarify your calm before the storm comments? Nothing, nothing to clarify. Okay, nothing to clarify. Cecilia Vega joins us live from the White House. Back to that feud between the president and Republican Senator Bob Corker. That could create problems for the president's agenda going forward. Yeah, Corker is on the powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He's on the Budget Committee. He will be essential to President Trump on issues like tax reform and Iran. Not a vote this president can afford to lose, Tom, as he struggles to pass his own agenda here in Washington. Cecilia Vega for us at the White House tonight. Cecilia, thank you.